Russ, the proposed plan is to put 56 low-income apartment units on this site. Back in May, the city council liked the idea, but now many neighbors in this area say it's not okay with them. It's not a very happy subject around here. Lakita Graham lives in a new neighborhood that backs up to the site of the proposed apartment complex. And had we known, we wouldn't have bought it. In May, the Sand Springs City Council gave the go-ahead to Zimmerman Properties to apply for the federal tax credits, which would allow them to build apartments for low-income residents. 90% of them, they're usually a you know, single, single mother has got children, they're looking for a place to have their family at. It's ideal. Some residents are excited about the prospect of more growth. I've been in Sand Springs all my life. I graduated to the other four, and I feel that it'll be something that Sand Springs needs. Many disagree, fearing that low-income housing might hurt their property value. They've been vocal to the city council. Some have even signed a petition to remove Mayor Bob Walker and another councilor from their seats. It seems opinions are across the board. If they're bringing children, then I'm all about it. You know, I mean, if it's if it's uh, bringing drugs, guns, and you know, riffraff, then obviously we don't want that in any of our towns. You know, especially these small rural communities where there's a lot of kids out and about. The potential developers started court proceedings to keep the city council from revoking its original support. The council will hold a public hearing on whether the project will pass city ordinance Monday, and folks like Lakita Graham plan to be there. But I can guarantee you that. Uh, those people that approved it, they won't be voted in next year. And I spoke with the developers today who say this is not government-run Section 8. This is actually more geared towards seniors or single parents or anyone with a low-paying job. Reporting live in Sand Springs, Beth Burnett, 2 News works for you. Beth, thanks. That hearing is set for 7 p.m. Monday at the Case Community Center.